What's going on everybody? Good afternoon. So today we are working on a Freightliner Cascadia and we have a good one. So a fault code for a vehicle speed sensor. Now normally this is a manual, well this is a manual transmission. As you can see here, got a nice little manual transmission. Give me a second there. The speed sensor goes right there on the tail end, right? You follow the little pigtail, the pigtail, somebody, somebody, uh, somebody already messed with it and put one in there. Still have a fault code. I'll show you that fault code right now in a second. So I climb my big ass up in here and I start messing with the harness and looking around and look what we find. Now this doesn't mean this is the fix, but this harness, if you can see right here where my finger is, it's really hard to see, but that kind of exposed wire, let me see if I'm gonna zoom in here, guys. Right there, that was rubbing on the back of the transmission right over here. So it was creating that fault code. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna cut it tap into those two wires, put some two beautiful wires, a nice little pigtail over there, and then hopefully that should resolve our issue. I will confirm that and test and show you guys. But first, I gotta get back out of here, go get the tools I need and check that out. So we will be back. All right, guys, so not the best uh, video footage we've got here, but I kind of peeled back the loom so I can kind of see the exposed wire or the grounded wire and really hard to fucking see it just because of the place where it's at so bear with me guys I'm trying to work here with my headlamp and I'll find it anyway it was right around here there we go so right by my fingertip you can barely see the little copper shining through so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna splice into that I'm gonna take that out I'm gonna eliminate this little side of the harness I'm gonna make my own little harness new plug and then we're going to go ahead and connect it. We're going to test and we're going to go from there. So if you're going to see the speed sensor is right down there. Okay. Sorry guys. Again, the light is just not working with me today. Yep. That's our speed sensor. So we're going to go ahead and cut, connect, test, and go from there. So I'm going to show you as best I can what I'm doing. Not very easy. Again, there's not that much light down here and there's surely not a lot of room. So stand by. Guys. Okay guys. So I have everything connected downstairs. As far as the vehicle speed sensor goes, this is the old one that was removed. And again, somebody kind of tapped in and replaced the plug with this one. I've never seen this before, but hey, that's okay. I get it. And then this is where I found the electrical. Sorry, guys. There we go. That's what was rubbing on top of the transmission. That's the only thing I could find. So I went ahead and replaced it, put a brand new plug, connected everything. And uh, I'm gonna connect the computer right now, verify the repairs, and that's pretty much it. Hopefully that'll be successful. If it is, great. Uh, but let's uh, let's keep going, guys. So, oh, good Lord, it's fucking hot down there. All right, guys, so let me connect everything here. I'm not gonna bore you with the details. You already know what we gotta do. Put the power on, cycle the key. Let's connect our software and uh, let's take a look so and see what we- While this is connecting, one thing I did notice is we did have an engine code. However, I had no check engine light, which is interesting because when you cycle the key, like I'm gonna show you right now, the lights typically light up. The malfunction light, the check engine light, and the only thing popping up right now is the stop engine light. So that tells me somebody either pulled out the light bulbs or shorted something behind the dash, but we will find out shortly. Let's see if we have a good repair. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to the truck and let's see what it says. Okay guys, so that was not successful. We still have a problem here. I gotta figure out what's going on. I've got either a signal down there that's not communicating up here and that, that means there must be a bigger electrical short. Uh, I don't think I hooked something up wrong because it's literally giving me the exact same codes as before, which is SPN84 FMI4. That's both on the CPC side and the MCM side. So let me get back underneath there let's take a look and i may have to pull this truck up front so i can get up underneath it and get get more comfortable and see what okay it says. guys so i was trying to figure out a way to resolve the issue with this and i got to thinking the signal from the vehicle speed sensor that goes down from the tail uh does work with the cpc now the cpc that i have here this is one off of another truck that we have uh that's just kind of sitting here Again, CPC4. So the actual CPC for this truck, it's right here. So GC3804, uh, GC3804, CPC4. So it, I put this one in here and I don't have any check engine lights. I'm gonna put the software in so that I can verify that in fact the code went away. If the code goes away, then more than likely the CPC is no good, okay? 
Uh, it's original. You can tell by the sticker that's up here on the right. New ones, although the sticker may look good, do not have that VIN number on there. They do not have that sticker. So I'm going to hook up the computer, the software. I'm going to plug back in. I'm going to cycle the key and I'm going to see what codes are there or are not there. Now I'm going to have something that's going to show us... Um, it's going to show us probably some, you know, code missing or some, some shit like that, or, or some things aren't matching up. And that's obviously because the CPC that we have here is not made for that one. It's a whole different VIN number that's on there. So, uh, let's see what we find. So we're going to be I'll hooking be back. back up to this truck. I am going to go ahead and launch the diagnostic link software that you see here. Again, you guys asked me about this software. This is the one from Detroit diagnostic link, Detroit diesel diagnostic link you can buy that from nexic there's the nexic n-e-x-i-q so what i'm going to do really quick is i've already connected i still have my test cpc4 uh let's see what the codes are and um i'm just going to show you guys literally as it connects so lights are yellow in the bottom left when they start switching over to green that's going to give us a pretty good indicator of what's going on upper left you're going to see there where it says fault it may show you fault one, fault two, or even down here. However, I don't see that. So this CPC, again, is a different truck completely. Look at the VIN number, GL6902, and this one is GC3804. So two different ones completely, but that's all right. Again, this is just a test to confirm what we've got going on. So I wanna see the codes. I'm gonna show you guys live what we're, what we're seeing, what's being viewed. Uh, so yeah, we've got a lot of little things going on here. Uh, this was the code that popped up yesterday. Vehicle speed sensor, SPN84 FMI4. Okay, that code is gone. However, uh, there's probably something going on there. So not bad, so that does work. What I wanna do right now is I just wanna perform a road test and I wanna see if this actually worked or works with it. Um, if I am getting speed registering up there, that means yeah we've got a bad CPC and we need to go ahead and replace that. So just want to show you that really quick. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? Anything else I can show you guys the codes? I'm going to clear them, but they're going to right now. That's going to, let's see what we got there. The malfunction light that might come back again, because the CPC is not programmed specifically for this truck. It may return, it may not return, but I'm gonna do a road test and either way, I'm gonna show you guys after what we find. Okay guys, there you go, there you have it. Bad CPC, if you like the video and it helps you, thumbs up, like, subscribe, thank you.